I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Gotcha, baby. First myth of today's episode is... Will Kokona notice you killing someone while she is choking? Okay, in order for us to do this one, we need to make sure it's Wednesday, because apparently Kokona only eats her bento one day of the week, and that is Wednesday. And we also have to bullshit through the first part of school. So let me just put it in random stats like so. And we have to get the poison, because we gotta poison that bento. And I gotta choose some random fuck boy or a random fuck girl to use as my guinea pig to see if Kokona will notice me killing somebody. And you know what? I'm gonna grab this chick. I never really use her for anything, so I'm gonna have her follow me with her one-eyed ass. Hmm, which weapon should I get? Should I get a knife foo? Should I get some scissors, a katana, screwdriver, box cutter? You know what? I'm feeling the box cutter. Feel like cutting the bitch up. And now all we have to do is go to the courtyard. But this is going to be tricky, though, because Senpai is going to sit at the middle of the fountain right there. And Kokoni is going to be right here. So if I kill somebody, I need to do it like somewhere right here behind this bench or else Senpai will notice. And he's like, oh, my God, did you kill someone? I'm never going to date you now. All right. Here oh, comes Big Tits Kokoni. Is. And she's getting moist in front of Senpai. So while she does that, actually, will this girl notice if I poison the bento? Let me see. Are you gonna notice? I poisoned it, but you didn't see it. <laughs> so you got two eye patches on. All right, so we're gonna wait for her, and then I'll take out this box cutter and just cut this bitch up. So hurry up and stop fawning over senpai. Did I use that word right? Fawning? I don't even know. It just sounds cool. I don't know if fawning's a real thing. So let me wait until she's choking. There you go. She's starting to choke. I'll kill her when she starts putting her hands around her neck. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. Boom! Kill her! Uh! Did she notice? It seemed like she did because there's that thing above my head that someone noticed. Did she notice that? Kokona, did you notice that before you die? Tell me, did you notice that? Did you notice that, Kokoni? Ah, oh, we'll never know because she's dead. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try this one more time as I'm teabagging her face. And I'm actually going to do it early on before she falls over as she chokes. So let's try that one more time because I want to make sure that she notices it before I either prove it right or debunk it. Okay, take two. I am going to get the same girl. She is going to follow me, please. And you know what? What's her name? Like, I don't want to call her eye patch bitch. What is her name? She is Supernatural! There you go, Supernatural! Come on down! Alright, Supana! I'm gonna call her Supana. Now, you know what? You can't say Supana without saying true at the end. Her name is Supernatural. What the hell are you doing? Looking like some supernatural forces are holding you from coming to me! What's wrong with you? If I am late to Kakona's bed. <laughs> Motherfucker! Kakona's already eating her bento, you supernatural fuck! Okay, we gotta do this again. Okay, we're gonna try this a third time, because third time's the charm, right? So she says, okay, lead the way. I really like her name, Supernatural. <laughs> it just rolls off the tongue, right? Like, say that out loud right now. Say Supernatural! Or even just say the first part of her name, and you can't say it without the churu at the end. You can't say Supana without adding churu at the end. So she's over here. She looking pretty as hell. What's up, girl? What the hell happened to your nose, though? You straight up got that Michael Jackson nose. Anyway, we are going to wait for Kokoni to come here, and you are going to be my guinea pig. Oh, wait. I forgot to get a weapon. Hold on. Let me get the box cutter. Yeah, you just stay there, whatever the hell you're doing, and I'll be back in, like, one minute. Okay, this time let me get the screwdriver, and I bet you a million bucks that she is still running in place behind the bench. Let's see if we're right. Yes. Well, no, she's not running behind the bench, but she is still running in place. What the fuck is wrong with her? Okay, I know you're supernatural, but you gotta act natural right now, okay? I'm gonna poison this bento like so, and then I'm gonna slice that throat open with the screwdriver as soon as she stops jizzing her skirt over senpai. I made up my mind. Okay, there she goes. She's about to eat her bento. So can you come over here? Hey, get over here. Get over here. Super, please. Please, Super, please. Oh, my God, Super, get over here. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, she can see this. So, kill her. So, see? She did see it. She did see it because that marker on the screen indicates that they saw what you just did. And Senpai is still looking up at the sky. What the hell are you looking at, Senpai? Are you looking at Midori Gurino? You are, huh? You want that Gurino ass, don't you? He's looking up somewhere, and I know Midori's up there. 
But yes, Kakona did see us. Supernatural is dead. So yes, that is confirmed. Kakona will notice you while she is choking as you're killing a student. On to the next one. Jay, if you kidnap my waifu, then when she is in your basement, only one of her eyes will change color. The other is just gray. All right, we are going to kidnap my waifu. Honestly, I don't know if I've ever kidnapped my waifu before. If somebody like knows the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below. But I can't remember a time where I kidnapped my waifu because if I did, I don't think that I would be doing this myth because then I would have noticed that her eyes changed color. So there she is actually. I don't know why I went to this spot. I should have just tried to find her myself with her long ass hair. Damn, she needs a haircut. We're gonna talk to her. Can you follow me please with your double D tatas? And there's only two reasons why I go into the nurse's office. The first reason is to get these things to tranquilize the girls. And the second reason is dead ass though. All right, close the door, pull out the trank, shank the skank. Gotcha, and she flops down and we can just put her into the box. Sorry guys, I hope my singing didn't make your ears bleed. We are gonna put her in there. And her hair is still outside. What in the fuck? Okay, so let's fast forward the day and let's see her eyes change color in the basement. Oh man, I had a good sleep last night. Let me go down to the basement to see if my wife whose eyes change color. So one of her eyes are gray and the other one actually does change color. It grows from like blue to purple to red to yellow to green. And I think those are all the colors that it goes to. Yeah, green, blue. And then one goes to like a light blue, almost like a teal color. And then the other one is like whitish grayish all right so there you guys go my wife whose eyes do change color when you kidnap her one of the eyes will be gray the other one shifts through a bunch of colors so that is true on to the next one want a zombie teacher one go into cyborg easter egg and ask a teacher to follow you two get the teacher to be directly by kakona when she takes her phone call three teleport to the roof and pour blood on kakona if you did this correctly, the teacher will run with Kakona to change. Four, go to the teacher and tell her to stop following you. After you tell her to stop following you, she walks back to her spot with arms out and blood dripping all over her, giving her the effect of a zombie. Do this on the May 7th build. All right, we have the May 7th build right in front of us. We are about to go into cyborg mode right over here. Really, oh, nigga? shit. Wrong one. <laughs> Let's redo that. Okay, now we can go into cyborg mode. I apologize guys I have a fat finger and it must have slipped off to the next key. So let's pick up the energy Wait, we don't even need to pick up the energy sword We are just gonna go over to a teacher and ask her to follow us and we have to time it right to where she stands next to Kakona then we do that invisible students glitch, but then we'll do it a little bit differently. So you guys will see what I mean once we're able to do it. Okay, Kakona's right here. I feel like putting her right next to Kakona is better than putting her in front or behind her. So let me try to get her right on the side. There you go. Perfect. That is perfect. Okay, let's teleport. And then let's fill this with water. And we also need to make it bloody. So BAM! Bloody water right there. Okay. So let's pour it on her. Oh, man, I think she's too far behind her. But you know what? We're going to try to do it. So pour it. And... Oh, shit. Come on, teacher. Follow her. Follow her. Follow her. All right, don't worry about the blood, girl. Yes, the teacher followed her. Okay, so let's teleport to the courtyard. And we have to get the teacher to stop following us, right? Yeah, we have to get the teacher to stop following us. I think that's what the myth said. So let me chase that ass. And tell her to stop following me. Come on, we can make it. Come on. Yes. Teacher is right here. Talk to her. And she stopped following us. And there you go, guys. Zombie teacher. Let's go. Let me try to get her in cinematic mode. She's like, grades. Must give grades. And look, guys, you can see the blood dripping from her head. That is so cool. I love that animation. I want to see what she looks like when she finally makes it to the classroom. Like, are her hands going to still be up in the air like that? Or is she going to put them down and just act like a normal teacher? Let's see what happens. And look how she's walking when I speed up time, guys. <laughs> oh, man. I love this. This is awesome. Okay, she is back in the classroom. Come on, make it to your podium at the top, girl. I want to see what you do. Are you just going to act like a normal teacher? Or are you going to still be a zombie? Yes, she's still a zombie. Awesome. Okay, let me put in cinematic because I want to see it. There you go. Zombie teacher, ladies and gentlemen. On to the next one. One, go into Ebola mode. Two, go to the drama club and join. Three, put the gloves on. Four, take off the gloves. Enjoy. 
All right, this motherfucker told me to enjoy, so I am going to enjoy. Where is Ebola mode? That is the E key. And we are going to join the drama club, and we are going to get our drama on. Drama club is right here. Let us join that. Greetings, join. join club. Yes, ma'am. You have joined the club. All righty then. Okay, so let's put on the gloves. And then, whoa, I got my uniform on. I'm looking like a sexy Ebola-chan. And then we have to take off the gloves, right? So take them off like so. And what the hell? I'm normal-chan. I'm normal as fuck. Okay, let me put them on again. And then let me take them off again. Okay, so I have my original uniform on. Okay, so we're gonna take off our clothes, and I want to see what Ebola-chan looks like with no clothes on. And not in a perverted way, just in a scientific research way. So let's go into the nude. And yeah, no difference. She still has wings on her back, and she still has that crazy hair. So that is what happens when you go into Ebola mode and you join the drama club. You put on the uniform that you had before you went into Ebola mode, and you can still kill people, but you just look cute as fuck doing it. On to the next one. I have an idea. Can teachers apprehend each other? One, get a teacher mind slave using cyborg mode. Two, get a teacher at the scene before the teacher kills. You can either get the teacher to follow you or commit another murder so she is there. Three, upon watching the teacher mind slave kill someone, will the other teacher apprehend the mind slave teacher? Okay, first things first, we need to get a mind slave teacher. So let's go get her in cyborg mode and I'll see you guys when we get one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got my mind slave teacher here. We are gonna go back into cyborg mode and then we are gonna get the teacher right over here to come with us, please. Yes, follow me. I want to show you something real cool. A teacher killing a student. Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard? So now we just need to give her a knife, boo. Because of course she's going to end somebody's life, boo. So there you go. And there is Kokoni. But for some reason, the mind slaves always kill them inside of the classroom now. And not usually where they used to kill them from, where Kokoni used to be right here. The mind slave always killed them as soon as they came past the school gates. But now we just got to wait for her to start making her move. There you go. And I forgot, you can't go into the camera like this in cyborg mode because it's just going to show your helmet. So I'm not going to go back into cinematic. We're just going to wait for her to go all the way to Kakona, and then the moment of truth will happen. We'll see if a teacher can apprehend a mind slave teacher. Okay, there you go. Got my teacher following me facing Kakona, and let's see what happens. Why the fuck did you go around? Okay, did you see that? Yes! Hey, Sensei! What are you doing? Okay, so once you have a mind slave teacher, she just starts to function like a normal student. It's not like some special, oh, she's a teacher so she can apprehend her kind of thing. The teacher treats her just the same as any other mind slave. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Here's a funny glitch. P.S. You have to be in the May 1st build. I don't know if it works in newer builds. Okay, that's the thing with this series, this myth series. If something doesn't work in the newest build, then I debunk it because if it's like a glitch or a bug that happens, then I can show it as it's happening and then maybe it'll not be there in the next update. So it's kind of like you see it and then it's gone in the next update. So if it's not in this update, then I'm going to debunk it and hopefully that makes sense. One, go outside the occult club. Two, Make sure you're on the wall nearest the stairs so you aren't in another room. Three, three, laugh and lead the nearest occult club student outside. Four, he sits down and begins reading, but you'll have to see for yourself. Okay, in order for us to do this, we need to fast forward until school ends. So let's just bullshit through our subjects just like we do in real life. Okay, it is now after school. And like I was saying earlier, if there is something that happens, like a bug or a glitch in like previous builds, like the May 1st, 2016 build, and I'm playing something like the May 7th, 2016 build, and then the bug doesn't work in the newest build, then I'll debunk it because it no longer works. So now we're at the occult club. The nearest occult club member to the outside is whoever sits in this chair. I believe is the guy who has glasses. Let me see if I'm right. Let me see if I have that occult club knowledge and know that a guy with glasses sits here with a book. All right, there's a guy. Does he have glasses? No! Oh, Rishito. I thought I had that one in the bag, baby. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy to come outside and we're gonna giggle. We're not gonna full on, you know, laugh like a crazy maniac. And the wall nearest the stairs. So this is the stairs and this is the wall nearest the stairs. So we're gonna start laughing just like so, you know, where we put our finger to our mouth, like our finger stinks and we would just wanna like smell it or something. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna have him come outside. Is he coming outside? Does he even notice us? No, he doesn't even give any shits. What the hell? Okay, let me start laughing around here. 
Maybe he'll come over. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put the camera in cinematic mode so I know when my lap is triggering them. So let's put it in cinematic right there. And I'll be over here and let me start giggling like a little bitch. Do I get their attention here? Nope. Okay, what about right over here? Yeah? No? What about if I full-blown laugh? Nope, they don't hear that. They don't hear that loud-ass laugh, but they can hear me giggling quietly like this. Look, see? This guy heard me. Yeah, stop reading that book. Stop reading that book, demon boy. Come over here. Get that ass over here. What's up, boy? Yeah, turn that corner. You see me? Yeah, you like what you see? You like this Yandere ass? What's up? Oh, there. I got the attention of the girl, too. There we go. She heard me. Is she gonna come over here and investigate? Yeah, buddy. Okay, let me lead her outside, and hopefully she comes over here. Come on, girl. I want you to read that book. Read that book for me. I want to see something funny happen. Come on, Supernatural. Come on, baby. Come out here. Please? Damn it! Yeah, there you go. I got it. No! Yes, I got her attention again. Come out here. There you go. She's coming out here. No, she's not. Look at Zopa! 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 Look! Zopa, I'm giggling! Don't you want to know what I'm laughing about? Okay, they're coming over here. They're coming over here. Damn it! Come outside! Maybe if I just laugh on this wall too? No! Hey! Motherfucking butthole. What about right here? Maybe if I laugh right here, then they can hear me outside. Yes, come out here, Supernatural. Come out here! Come on, baby, be with me. Be with me. Don't stop inside. Yes! 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 She did it! She did it! I'm closing the door! I'm closing the door! You're not gonna go back inside! Fuck you! Read that book outside! Just start sitting down! No! Here, I'm gonna laugh again! Come on, let's go outside! Let's have fun! Don't you like reading outside? Don't you like it when the sun splashes on your face when you're outside? Hey girl, why do you look like a stalker right now? Stop looking like that, you're looking creepy as shit! Okay... Bye, see you later. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time and hopefully it works. The wall nearest the stairs. So that's the wall nearest the stairs. I don't have his attention. So let me try going over here. I actually don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to imagine that outlook of the school inside of my head. So let's go along the wall. There you go, I got this guy's attention. So when he turns the corner, I'm gonna go outside and then I'm gonna start laughing again. Maybe he'll hear me once he turns the corner. There he is, so let me just start laughing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out here! Why won't you get out here, fuck boy? Oh, and now he wants to twirl like an idiot inside of the occult club? Instead of going outside of the school, he wants to twirl like an idiot, okay. And now he wants to slide across the floor like he's Michael Jackson. What the fuck is this shit? You know what? Fuck this guy. Fuck the occult club. I'm gonna debunk this myth and say you can no longer do it in the May 7th build. On to the last myth of today's episode. 1. Let a teacher notice you with a corpse. 2. Once she is chasing you, turn into Ebola mode. Will the teacher die? Okay, so normally when you're in Ebola mode, once they touch you, they automatically die right there on the spot. And you guys thought I wasn't gonna go an episode without killing Midori Gurino! You guys got it twisted. I always kill Midori Gurino. So let's grab her hand, and then show and tell time, and go, 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 go. Okay, I need to turn on Ebola mode, and there you go. Let's see if she apprehends me. But I'm gonna let her chase me for a bit, because I'm not gonna make it easy for the teacher to get me. And fuck, she's coming at me Terminator style. Fuck! Oh, God. I actually like it when the teacher chases me because it's so intense. Damn, she's gaining ground, guys. Fuck, I got stuck in the wall. She's gonna get me. Is she gonna die, though? Is she gonna die? Oh, what? She's Ebola immune! She has the cure! They need to take her in for scientific research and they need to figure out the cure for Ebola. And now I'm a bald-headed Ebola bitch. What the hell? Okay, but I hope that answers your question. If you turn into Ebola mode and the teacher apprehends you, she does not die. She pins you to the ground like the Ebola chan that you are. And with that said, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!